Who's that coming any funk through the speaker? Bass gets to pumping, Rukas get to pumping. Who's that rocking? Got the bar to start jumping. Step to the crowd, I feel the strain. Touching muscles in the mosh pit, feel for pain. Sin duda, esperemos que Canelo dé, dé una gran sorpresa. Aquí tienen ustedes a este que es Brian Kamechis, el hombre que le dicen al griego de oro en nación. El ojalá está yo a la izquierda por la derecha, por la derecha. Tiene una tumefacción en torno al ojo izquierdo. Hay forma de meterle la mano izquierda a la mandíbula. Nunca se ve el escalón de nadie, el trampolín de nadie. Así que va a salir esta noche, claro, va a ganar el africano. Toda la vez se ha mandado puro contra las cuerdas, tratando del boxeador que radica actualmente en Australia. Un buen puño de izquierda al Moreno. Bueno, se siente excelente trabajo que 
ha hecho el Canelo a zona práctica, trabajando muy bien el cuerpo, sí. A un veterano muy temprano para ponerlo en esa, en esa posición, ¿verdad? Y es que quiero, la gente lo, lo, lo sigue y cada vez que un peleador va a llenar arenas y, y lo vas a ver con las posibilidades tiene buenas en México, pues uh, si le ven un poco de talento, pues Pero lo quieren colocar luego, luego, los dice, los hasta sí, los 14 sí, años de edad también. Sí, sí, y esta noche no hay razón por pensar que va a fallar. Ahí una vez más. Álvarez tratando de sí, que sí, tiene sí, que atacar, sí. tiene que hacer algo en dos. Este momento pues de protegiéndose demasiado. Una buena combinación, tres, cuatro golpes sucesivos y así termina el campanazo en uno sí, En el año 2002 contra José Luis Juárez también lo tomaron en dos ocasiones. Hablando de de ranking, los mejores tres en todas las eh, organizaciones. Pero nos estamos adelantando, ¿no? Demasiado, demasiado. Muy prematuro para, sí, para comenzar. Sigue, le pide más. Pide, exacto, Ajá. sí, lo, lo reta. Posiblemente eh, tomando un descansito aquí del mexicano, ¿no? Pero de la forma en que responde ahora sí atacando con muchísima fuerza y, y comparando. Diciendo, si, si tú quieres lanzar proyectiles de mucha potencia, ve nada más lo que yo tengo en los puños. Y ahora sí, te está dando lo que tú pedías. Tanto que entonces en de, de confianza. Que lo hizo por un tiempo, pero pues vimos cómo regresó. ¿Qué tipo de consejo? Quizás el tiempo. Lo veo que está respirando con la boca abierta. No, no, con malas intenciones, con ganas de luchar. Ay, eso es lo que tiene que ser. Son más y más de ahí, ¿no? Y no todo, no todo tumba con la vida. No, o sea, no, 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 no. Porque no lo noté. Hay sido una, una mala presentación. Sí, entonces ha mantenido, pues, eh, fiel a su... También ha hecho eso para cumplir... Eh, de esa forma, pero en la, en la carrera la, la, la es más difícil. Por eso es que le ponen este tipo de oponentes de tenis. Toda la gente quizás. Ha caído, pero dice que fue un gran aprendizaje y que eso no le vuelve a pasar. Posiblemente lo puedan tirar, pero en cuestión de... To do, at this point, is get some respect. Right now, Alvarez has no respect for Central's power. So he needs to land a good shot. You see that? Alvarez is all out with a shot shot to establish some respect. He's got a little bit more respect when he's attacking. He's not attacking just all out with his hands anywhere like he was. He's like that. That's a good hook, but the hook is the better hook. Inside, thought Cintron, right hand. Very, very patient. Porter told him to go to the body. He hasn't gone to the body yet. Lead right from Cintron, right hand. Hurt Cintron, and down he goes. But now Alvarez has no fear of the right hand at all. Good left. Cut over the jab at wheel. And Cintron hurt at the end of the round as well. Blood coming from his nose. Another left hand has hurt Cintron. Cintron's throwing hard shots back, but he, he let go. go. There's he, a combination. That's the Cintron you look for. Yeah, but then Cintron he keeps that right. Yeah, and he looks, he looks like he lacks coordination when he hits, gets hit with a shot. He's getting hit with those right hands in the town. Alvarez digs in with some power shots. Alvarez must have shot a punch. But he does land a punch and bother Alvarez. Yeah, he seems like he did tire. Like Good this. combination by Alvarez. And the referee, Hector Afu, has stopped it. And the chin, right hand to the nose, and some blood from Hatton's nose. As Hatton digs in with a couple of hooks. Counter right by Alvarez. And a short right inside from Alvarez. Oh, good left foot, right hand, left foot again. Blood streaming out of the nose of Hatton. Everything about him is against the Mexican, the normal Mexican regimen. He, he is Mexican, he looks Irish, <laughs> and he fights George Foreman. Exactly. This is body shot from Alvarez on a hot air on seven. Listen to this crowd, music. Alvarez's fans want to cheer so bad. He's only been stopped once in his career. Fights back and eats a right hand. Hatton comes back on the left and holds yeah. on. For a fighter this young to connect with people the way he's connected. Well, he's told to give the crowd their money's worth. That's exactly right. And he's not afraid to share punches. Oh, left shot. and a right to the ear. That hurt him bad. Hurt yeah, Hatton's hurt on wobbly legs. What happens when you don't hold? <laughs> Another two that's a reference. Oh, Hatton's game, he's gonna make it to the end.
Canelo Alvarez. A much different scenario. And when you look at people, the Hall of Famers, who have lost fights and have gone on to remarkable careers, you look so there is no shame in losing. The question is, how will Canelo bounce back tonight? Escúcheme, cuídate, listos, vámonos. Very easy for Canelo Alvarez. Mexico versus Mexico, and what a start! The speed becoming very evident. Strafing them with punches upstairs and downstairs. Terrific pace. And Canelo's been bringing it all night long. There's a right uppercut up the middle. And referee has stopped this fight. And not against the quality of Canelo Alvarez. Kicks to the body, does Alvarez. Beautiful combination by Alvarez. And Rose is down. Rose is in the Lions' den and is being covered by Sutter. Set up that game. Look at me. Ace is going to count it. Good stiff jab. Love the way Alfred sets things up in body shots. Very comfortable. Don't get up by Alfred. Rips another combination. Opens up with that left foot. Doubles up with the right hand. Nothing coming back. She throws. Four combinations. Guadalajara, Canelo, Alfred. Of the fight, period. He's the aggressor. He's winning the fight six today. And Alvarez. Alvarez. That was a good body shot. He's been doing nicely in this fight. Doubles up to the left. Rose is giving it a game effort, but I just don't think he has enough of his attack to do Alvarez in the game. But now Alvarez is going to hurt his body bad. It's hard for the body. Slows down Rose again. Alvarez really kind of takes it easy. I don't think it really can help Rhodes. Body again, right to the heel. Left hand scores. Rhodes is not good. He's caught a total of a couple of balls, but he's not going off the wall, but he gets knocked out a little. He just gives it up. I mean, he doesn't want to run. And he's about to go down anyway. So why not land something while you're going? Alvarez opens up. Instead of Rose looking for a knockout, Alvarez is. <laughs> he wants to close the show in his hometown. Rose gets dropped. Referee stops him. He seemed to feel as though Cotto was exactly the right kind of sturdy, difficult, but not impenetrable opponent for Alvarez to be facing. There's a good right hand by the 19-year-old. And he is wobbled by a left hook, and he's in trouble, and Cotto's dumping him. And maybe the matchmaking was a mistake, but no, he gets out of trouble, still wobbling, still having trouble getting his feet under it. Miss, he dodges a right hand, comes back with a right. His they solution should, is to fight. He should be clinching. He's fighting instead of clinching. Well, when you're 19 and you've been so successful, Alvarez landed that sizzling right hand shot. So Alvarez makes it out of the round, although he was in serious trouble Welcome. with over a minute to go. Welcome, kid, to the big time. Recuperate yeah. now. Breathe. Breathe deeply. Are you good? I'm good. Everything's good. Okay. Everything's good. Detective. All right. A little bit of water now. All right, son. Now relax. Are you relaxed? Yeah, everything's good. You made one error, son. Because you wanted to eat them all up, you got in too close and you opened up. That's the first round only. There's ten rounds. You're a better fighter. You're a better boxer. Relax. A visible advantage here. Much faster feet than Jose Miguel Cotto. So he can get himself into position to land shots. That was brilliant, precise punching by the 19-year-old. On the inside at very short range. Never gonna fit with each other. Sir. Good counter right hand up and under from Chris Alvarez and Cotto's glove touched the canvas. And Alvarez has just evened up the knockdown on the scorecard. Okay. Once again, the timing and the ability to throw these shots with extreme accurate precision. Look, and I tell you, I never saw a guy fight off the ropes as good as he does since Roy Jones Jr. I mean, he is terrific coming off those ropes. Five to one, Alvarez.
emerging here, Emmanuel. What we're seeing from this 19-year-old is that he has unusual athletic coordination for boxing and Very great important. timing. Yes, great, great timing for when to deliver the shots. And, 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 and what I see is great poise. And he's hurting Cotto with those right hands and the left hooks. Cotto not throwing back. Finally we're releases seeing one his now. Beautiful right hand right over the top. Tremendous quickness on that right hand. Cotto seems to be buzzed. Cotto keeping his hands up. Not really throwing back. Alvarez targeting right hand shots. Targeting right hand shots. Tony Weeks looking, looking. How much punishment does Tony Weeks want to allow Jose Miguel Cotto to take? Cotto's got to start punching back. Otherwise, this fight would be He's throwing stopped. back, but without any velocity. Alvarez is teeing off, and Tony Weeks is going to stop it right there. They were just above us, and you could see Tony Weeks' mind working as he watched and watched and waited and finally saw the moment. Maybe we have seen a piece of the future. Canelo Alvarez looking to defend and unify the titles, looking to prove to everyone that his talent is indeed equal to the mega popularity that he's achieved in his young career. While Austin Trout wants to silence the crowd and bring both belts back to Las Cruces, New Mexico. Times against Miguel Cotto in his last fight. This is his one hope. The fans, of course, will react to anything Canelo does. This is the distance Canelo needs to start landing. And there There's a right hand that connects for Canelo. Flashes the jab, doubles up the jab, follows up with a right hand with a two. So you kind of met him with that uppercut there. And Canelo loads up with two, make it three right hands. That third one connects on the tempo. Trout backing up over Telly and resetting. The sixth round here in the Alamo Dome. Trout ducks underneath that right hand by Canelo. Canelo backs up from the counter shot from Trout. Trout's controlling this round, and Canelo keeping his hands very low. You know, Al, you made a point with those body shots Trout yeah, throwing. Canelo doing a good job, though, of avoiding a lot of the punches. But, but here's the thing, he's not moving his head as much this round. He's kind of a stationary target. He's moving a little bit here, but he started the round very fast. Then Trout landed a couple of good body shots, and, and the head movement There's stopped. The left hook to the body by Trout. Under 30 seconds left in the sixth round. Halfway point of the fight. Round of seven underway, and as is often the case when you have a conventional fighter. And there is Canelo dropping Trout with a straight right.